welcome back to the sawmill. There's a lot going on here today. Nasty oat log on the sawmill right there on the loading arms. Let me show it to you. Got a lot to do here today. Stick with me. All right, friends, over here on the loading arms, we got a good sized log right there. The only downside is it's been on the ground for a long time. That's a red oak. We'll talk about that one here in just a minute. Right now on the sawmill, I got some poplar left over from the last video on that timber that we sawed for the axe house. Those are a little bit proud of four inches. I'm going to edge them and put them down to four inches on the width. That would give us some nice two by fours right there to work with. I've been collecting two by fours lately. As you can see, got a pretty good wall of them right there. That's for the barn. Been sawing a lot of two by fours lately. And something else, in the last video, I had some questions about this hose right here. Some people saw this out of the corner of the screen. This hose is actually for the molder that I'm trying to get put together in there in the shop. But there's something in here though, guys. Check that out. The EG100 Wood Miser Edger. Now, I'm going to try to get this thing put together next week. It's been up here for about three months on this pallet. I need to get it working. More on that very soon, guys. That is a double blade edger. If you've never seen one, you're going to see one pretty soon here on the channel. I'm probably going to put it right over there because that stack of slabs is ready for the kiln. We'll be taking that and putting it in the kiln sometime this week. And the next stack is also ready for the kiln. I might go ahead and get it out of here and get it outside just to make room. And hopefully the edger will go right there along that wall. But before we get started, I need to run down to the burn pile and get rid of this waste. Got some poplar on there and some pine. A little bit of sawdust. <laughs> So a lot going on this week at the sawmill, guys. Today we'll be focusing on that red oak log. That's going to be a really good test for the four degree blades and how good they do on some dried season timber like that red oak. So stick here with me. What else you got to do? Might as well watch this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing and share this video with your friends if you don't mind. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. Hopefully we'll be there by the first of the year. Everybody hang in there. I'll be right back with you. Here's the log. This is red oak. It's about 10 feet long. We'll make it shorter in just a minute. As you can see from the outside of the bark that's missing, it looks pretty bad. A lot of holes right there from insect damage. Pretty terrible here on the outside. And on this end, it gets worse. As you can see right here, there's a lot of rot going on. Just really bad right there. I'm going to come in here with my chainsaw about right here. And that's going to leave us with eight foot boards today. That's what I'm after. And that will also tell us what this timber may look like on the inside when we get rid of this. And hopefully it's going to be solid. There will be a lot of uh, rot in the sapwood. But the middle should be okay. But I don't know. It's pretty bad right there. I'm starting to rethink this one. But we'll throw it on the mill and see what happens anyways. Let's grab the chainsaw and cut this end off and see what it looks like.
Gotta have gas or they're gonna run. Huh. All right, friends, here's what we got. And on another note, I think I need to sharpen that chainsaw. It's a little dull. As you can see, the heartwood's okay there in the middle. On the outside, there's a lot of signs of spalting. It looks kind of punky in there. Probably pretty soft, but not too bad. Sure, here's what we're after, that nice timber right there in the middle. So it looks better than I thought it would, but not as good as I hoped it would. So it's part of it. Let's put it up on the sawmill. Finally got this on here. Let me check the diameter down here. 21 inches on the far end that we took the cut off of. 20 inches, not much taper. That's jug right there. So like I was saying, this is red oak. It's been on the ground for about five years. It came from a buddy of mine's farm just down the road. And the power company took this tree down because of a right away deal they had through the farm. So uh, that's why it got taken down. And I tell you what, guys, it is just looks awful on the outside. A large, like I've said in previous videos, I don't know how many times, a large commercial sawmill would take this right here and throw it in the pull up of the burn pile. They would not be putting this on this sawmill. A log buyer like myself would go to a log yard and we would probably 99% of the time walk by this log. And unless the loader operator just wanted rid of it to get out of his way, you wouldn't be buying something like this. But this is a good education on some of you guys running sawmills. Timber like this still has some value in it and you can usually get it for free. And I tell you, if it wasn't for all the rod and stuff going on, and it might not even be an issue with this, if this was my log, I would quarter saw it because the grain is nice and straight running on the sides. There's not much taper, so the pith is going to be pretty much centered end to end. I would quarter saw this log even if it's been lying on the ground this long. We may, even, we may just quarter saw this thing. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Depends on what it looks like once we kind of open up the bark here, make a face or two and see how it looks. But we may quarter saw this log. So hang in there with me, guys. Uh, probably four quarter and five quarter boards on this. We're doing this on halves. I like my stuff at five quarter. Uh, Mike and the judge, they like their stuff at four quarter. So we'll probably switch back and forth on the AccuSet on pattern mode and make sure everybody gets their share of this. But not too bad. So let's skin the bark off, take it down to the burn pile, then reassess where we're at and decide if we're gonna quarter saw this or a plane saw, a rift saw, who knows? Stay tuned and we'll find out here in just a minute, guys. One more thing. I'll shut up and we'll get sawed. That's a number four degree 045 double hard wood miser blade. That's gonna be a really good test for this blade today. This is some pretty dense timber. Like I said, it's been on the ground five years or longer. So it's gonna be a little seasoned. A lot of the moisture is gone and it's gonna be pretty hard to saw. And those four degree blades are designed for dense hardwoods like this or frozen timber. So it'll be a good test for this four degree blade. So far, the four degree blade is now my official blade here at the sawmill. I love it. It works great on everything. It works good on pine, walnut, poplar, fresh oak, seasoned oak. We'll find out here in just a minute.
right, friends, everything went pretty good. The timber is about 16 inches squared up right there, going both ways. It looks pretty good. There's a lot of spalting going on. I was looking for that based on what I was seeing in the sample that will probably disappear once we start sawing into the heart of this tree. But right now, there is some nice spalting going on right there. So right here's the end grain. We got the pith right there in the middle. What we'll probably do is come down since we're splitting this timber and I'll come above the pith and go ahead and make a cut and discard the top of this timber. That's gonna be my piece to saw from. And then we'll turn the bottom up on its side, which will make for one by eights. And that will be rift sawn based on the grain right there. And we'll come down through there and make a lot of one by eights for the farmer. He'll be tickled to death with that. And then I'll put my piece back on here and we may just quarter saw it. I haven't decided yet. We'll see what it looks like when we start taking these cuts from the middle. But if it's nice and clear and the spalting is not taking over the grain, we may quarter saw this and see how it goes. So stick here with me, guys. Make one cut right there and split this in two. Some quick one by eights, then we'll get into the good stuff and probably some quarter sawing. <laughs> 